Welcome back to the Electrician 2 channel. Today we're going to do a comparison between two uh, well-known heavyweights in the test and measurement uh, industry, uh, should I say Fluke and Agilent. To your left is the Fluke 87, which a lot of you already know about. It's been on the market for a long time. It's been... Uh, holding his own for a long time in an industrial meter. Uh, um, to the right, it's going to be Agilent, the 1241A. This is also a true RMS digital multimeter. Both of these are well-known uh, companies. Um, those of you who've been in the field, I mean, been doing electrical for, or electronics for a long time, I'm sure that you uh, either own one of these meters or maybe both of them. So I just want to do a, a kind of pound for pound comparison between the two. Um, I just recently acquired this this Agilent about a week ago, and uh, this is one of the older model Agilents. And when I say old, I don't want to say maybe twenty years ago, uh, something like that. No, I don't want to say that. But but this fluke uh, is one of the older flukes as well. Also, so. Pound for pound, um, is both of them is in the same range as far as features. Both of them have about the same, um, have the same uh, features. Um, some of the same features. So I just want to do a comparison between the two and uh, tell you which one I prefer and um, which one that I will, that I will put in my bag or use each and every day if need be. Now, um, we're going to start off with the Fluke. We're going to name some features. And then I'm going to do the Agilent. And, um, you know, we just compare the two. First, I want to thank you guys for watching. Those of you who are just tuning in, I'm going to ask you in support of the channel. Guys, and it's free. You know, don't turn the channel. It's free. I'm going to actually hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment because I love talking tools. And if you got something to say about either or, I mean, leave a comment. You know, if I, if I mentioned something wrong or didn't mention something at all, I still would like to hear it. And we can comment on it. Uh, anything that's, um, you know, any kind of degrading comments or whatever, uh, you know, please leave that off the channel. This is this is not the channel for that. So, but if you got something to say about the multi uh, about these uh, test instruments, you know, like, just keep it professional. Okay. All right. So, um, and and those of you who have been hanging around the channel, I really appreciate it. You know, I really appreciate you guys sticking in there. I still have a lot of more videos to come. And uh, I haven't been, I haven't gotten around to them just yet because I've been working a lot. And when I'm not working, I'm resting to get ready for the next day. Those of you who, who know what I'm talking about can understand. So without further ado, I'm going to tell you all about the fluke. I'm going to name out, I'm going to name some, um, call out some, some features on this one. And then I'm going to call it the features on the Agilent. Now this fluke, um, uh, this, this fluke 87V. R875, whatever you want to call it, uh, has volts AC DC, has temperature, uh, millivolts AC DC, continuity, have uh, 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 ohms, and they have capacitance, diodes, have milliamps AC DC, amps AC DC, and microamps AC and DC. It also have min max, min max and average, range button, have temperature, Celsius, Fahrenheit, auto hold, have Hertz. And duty factor, have a rail button, and they have two stages of a backlight. I'll show you that. Um, and they have a select switch to get to the low um, low Z uh, measurement and the temperature measurement measurement, as well as the capacitance and switching over to like the eight, the DC milliamps and the DC microamps. You use the select button that's right here. Uh, now. Uh, this, the Agilent, it has, let me turn it to the back, to show you what's on the back. It's, you know, it has this, those of you who know about the fluke, this, this fluke, you know what I'm talking about. They have a place for a magnetic strap to hang, the Velcro magnetic strap with a little uh, adapter that goes in there, a place for your leads, and it's protected by this rubber, nice thick rubber uh, casing, which can come off when you're changing the batteries or doing whatever to the meter internally. Now, this Agilent, um, it has, um, let me see, AC-DC voltage, have uh, diode, 
and uh, let me see what's the other one. SWC. I don't know if that's swells or, or what. I'm not, I am have to check. And, but anyway, the SW-C. And they have here continuity and ohms, capacitance, microamps, ACDC, milliamps, ACDC, and amps, ACDC. And T1 will be for the temperature. They have a temperature here uh, on here too, measurement. And hertz. You know, range button, save button, all button, and the shift button when you're going through the selections, trying to get to um, the measurements or the feature that's in blue that's around here. And a hold button um, is rated for a cat, what that's cat four, cat four, and uh, and cat three. This one also the same thing is rated for cat three, cat four. Thousand votes, six hundred votes, six hundred votes, thousand votes. So. Pound for pound, both of them are, are, are uh, basically alike. And keep in mind, I bought, I, when I purchased this from eBay, uh, the price was, it was a really nice price. The only thing was missing, I don't think any, any of you guys caught it yet. Like Fluke have this little name up here that says Fluke advertising up here. They normally have one right here, like the bezel that goes around here. To select like a, a second or the first bezel before you get to the one that's under here. It sits right, right in here. And it has Agilent name on it, True RMS, and the model number. Well, that one was missing. And the price that the uh, that, that that it was advertised for, I really thought something was wrong with it. But I took a chance, and I said, "Well, I'm gonna order it anyway. I'm not gonna always send it back if it's not right." Okay. And what happened was, uh, when I got it, and I immediately turned it on. I had to put batteries in the fridge. Put uh, put turned it on. Um, and I started taking the measurement from the wall. It wasn't. It wouldn't read right. You know, I didn't. I was looking at them things, but something was wrong in my mind. Something's wrong. Something's wrong with it. So I'm. I immediately was about to send it back. But after I looked at it again, I noticed that this that it defaults to um, DC uh, measurements. Well, that only proves that this is a. That is this is not an electrician's multimeter. It's an electronic technician's multimeter. So uh, you have to switch over to AC, and that was the problem. So I switched over to AC, and everything worked fine. So, but and one more thing, if you guys was the, if any got any any of you guys know where I can, you know, it's not really important, but if you know where I could get one of these little bezels at for the Agilent, you know, online, leave, leave it in the comment. So, uh, but I'm not looking to pay no uh, thirty dollars for it. I, it's, it's not that important. But if you know where I can find one at. Um, or you have one that you may want to sell, you know, just let me know, you know, and, I, and, I, and I'll see. But anyway, but this is a, this is a pretty good, a pretty good multimeter. This has some little features and the same, basically the same, the, the, the port in the back right here for your test leads. They have the little stand right here with also bins like that. And, um, you know, that helps for those of you who have problems with multimeters falling backwards when you're trying to, um, use one hand whenever i use a multimeter i hardly ever i gotta you know i hardly ever use one hand to try to turn the dial i have before but some most of the time i got it i have it like this and i'm i'll turn the dial or you know whatever but anyway um it's a real good it's a it's, it's a real good multimeter i think it is uh agile has been around for a long time they make some real nice test instruments um and you know that's on the market today uh, this is um, my, f I've had an Agilent before. I remember I bought it from eBay and it wasn't right. So I had to send it back. But other than that, I've never owned anything by Agilent before. And, uh, and I, not one thing, but you know, I, I do know that they are a major player in the testing measurement market. But, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some of my measurements and just uh, see how I'm going to plug it into the mains and see how each of them compare to one another, okay? Now, let me just show you the, the backlights on, 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 on both of them. So we can kind of like turn this off. This is the, that's the first stage of the, of the fluke. I'm gonna turn it on the second one. That don't look any better. But this is the first stage of the Agilent. That's the second stage. Now, in the camera, it does look like the Agilent is much brighter than the fluke. But I don't like this blue. I don't like that blue backlight. 
especially when you have to compare it to a white LED backlight. Uh, I just don't really, I'm not into that. It kind of reminds me of the Ampro type blue. I'm really not into it. And, uh, but, you know, it's not, it's not all bad, but I still prefer the white backlight. So let me just turn this back on. And I'm gonna take some measurements and uh, from the mains and I want you, uh, we'll see just how each of them, how each of them reads, okay? So, let me just, this is my ring doorbell, keep going off. All right, so. Okay, so, let me see. Okay, guys. Oh, man. All right, let me put it on the side right now. So, there we go. The flute, it, no, what I just saw was the flute jumped right to the measurement. This one had to, you know, it took a while to get there, a few seconds to get there. I guess that's okay, but if we were comparing those two, the flute would have won, but they're both spot on. They're both a spot on, and um, let me just look at the, the hertz and see what both of them reads for the hertz. Okay. So, uh, I mean, it's it's within spec. Both of them are good. Both of them are really good. I have nothing to say about that. Um, so, but if I, as far as as far as uh, weight, and I think uh, durability, uh, I think the fluke would have that. That blue, uh, the fluke feels like a tank. I tell you, this this thing here feels like it would stand any fall that you you know. That uh, that you throw anything that you throw up uh, up against it. This one, on the other hand, it doesn't feel as solid. I don't I don't hear I don't hear anything squeak or squeaking you know, or any squeaking like anything like that. But uh, it's not an industrial multimeter. On the bench, I think you'll be okay. Not even a problem. I think you'll be just fine. But uh, I think you'll be just fine. Excuse me, but uh, taking a fall uh, depends. It, it it may hold up. It may hold up, but I don't I don't know. But if I had to choose out of the two for its durability, I, I would go with the fluke. Uh, the backlight, I would go with the fluke. Uh, also, um, now I'm gonna do another measurement and just to see. Let me see. I'm a, I have a capacitor right here, y'all, that I wanna test out. You know, uh, I don't have a whole lot of tests I can send these through uh, right now, but I, just, I can do a few of a few tests right here. So let me see. Let me take this off. This, this microfarad is 30 plus 5 microfarad, okay? 5 for the fan, 30 for the herm, for the compressor, okay? So, let me see. All right, we'll see what it says. Four point nine. that's for the fan. 29.8, that's for the herm. So, let me see if it'll hold. Oh, shoot. I 
though, but it's holding anyway. But anyway, it was 4.9, and uh, you guys remember that. 28.2 on this one. It was, let me short it out again, just to be on the safe side. I mean, uh, get an accurate reading. Point six, twenty-eight point one. Okay, four point six, twenty-eight point one. You guys remember that? Four point six, twenty-eight point one. The name of these test leads right here, guys. They're not the. Uh, these are not Agilent test leads. These are fused test leads by a company called Reed, R E E D. You may have seen some of the instruments that's on a, a test instruments on the market, and. Um, These are fused test leads. I'll show you before I get started. Okay, I normally use these all the time on whatever I'm testing, even though when I'm in the field, I have the ones for fluke. So let me, uh, okay. Four point nine for the twenty nine point nine. So the fluke is giving us a different reading. Let me see. Let me try it again because I did test it twice. Twenty nine point nine, four point nine. So both of them are in spec. The fluke is showing it a little bit more accurate than than the agile, um, but both of them are within spec. Again, though, but if I had to choose out of both of them, I would go with the fluke. But if you guys were to run across one like this on the market. Uh, even though it's an older model, I think it's in. I think it's a real nice multimeter, but uh, I do most of my work in the field, and uh, I would rather take the fluke in the field with me over uh, the Agilent. As far as measurements goes, I think it holds. I think it'll hold its own against the fluke in some in some measurements, but uh, for durability, like I mentioned, the fluke got it. As far as the backlog, it got it. Um, it takes, what it takes on this thing, I think it's a two AA batteries, AAA batteries, right? No, I think it's four AAA batteries for this one. And this the Fluke Take 1.9 volt batteries. Okay, so uh, other than that, I do choose the Fluke over the Agilent. I'm not saying that this one is a bad multimeter, like I mentioned, but I'll just choose a Fluke. So guys, uh, that's the, I just wanted to put the little video out, uh, you know, and uh, tell you which one I prefer. I want to thank you guys for, for tuning in. Uh, stay tuned because I do have some more videos that I want to uh, upload, post on YouTube, uh, some really nice stuff, and some one-of-a-kind test instruments that I uh, have ran across uh, as being an electrician. So I want to I want to put those up. And um, Okay? But anyway, until the next time, you guys stay safe and... Uh, Take care. Peace out.